All right, give me a Pepsi free. You want a Pepsi, pal? You're gonna pay for it. First coined Brad's drink way back in 1893, Pepsi has undergone many changes in taste and style over the years. With the new pineapple Pepsi hitting shelves in the U.S. this summer, fans of the drink are converging again to rank the soda. Here is the official foolproof list of the 10 best Pepsi drinks ranked worst to best. Pepsi Kona. Mom, Bart's drinking coffee! It's not coffee, it's hot Pepsi. First marketed in May of 1996, Pepsi Kona made its debut in Philadelphia and was yet another addition to the popular 90s trend of coffee-flavored soft drinks. This being Pepsi's second attempt at a morning beverage, hopes were high for Pepsi Kona, and every effort was put into its advertising. If Pepsi was going to make a dent into actual coffee sales in America, it had to step up its game. Maybe we should be talking about how this is better than coffee. The company rose to the occasion, creating early advertisements for the new drink, which included a hilarious video of singer Tom Jones performing his hit, It's Not Unusual, while in a diner. There was also the famous Kona Hummer, which would drive around town and hand out samples of the coffee-flavored beverage. This drink, I like it. I know, it's great, right? Another! But despite the company's best efforts, Pepsi Kona never made it to national distribution, and production was halted before the flavor ever left Philly. And although the taste passed every quality test, people just didn't seem to want to part with their usual cup of joe. Pepsi Blue. Where's the blue? Where's the what? The blue color. Pepsi Blue boasted an ambiguous berry flavor and was known to catch the consumer's eye with its striking blue color. Originally launched in North America in 2002, Pepsi Blue only made it two years in the Western market before being discontinued, largely due to disinterest and a nefarious coloring agent illegal in most countries. Don't worry, it's just water and food coloring. Food coloring? The most poisonous substance known to robots? The drink was targeted targeted at early teens and tasted much more sugary than the original soda. Many consumers guessed when it came to the flavor. Raspberry, cotton candy, and blueberry were common guesses, but Pepsi never confirmed any of them. Throughout its short career in the U.S. and Canada, Pepsi Blue spawned advertisements starring popular celebrities like Britney Spears, the band Sev, and Papa Roach, which unfortunately did little to raise sales. Pepsi Blue also had its own signature vehicle in the form of a Volkswagen New Beetle, which handed out free bottles of blue around popular shopping malls. Free drinks for everyone! The soda was also famously promoted during New York Mets games, where the blue-colored drink became synonymous with the colors of the ball club. Although Pepsi Blue is no longer available in North America, it's still up for grabs in the Philippines and Indonesia. Crystal Pepsi. Can I give you Crystal Pepsi? All the great taste of regular Pepsi, but without that troublesome opacity. Possibly one of the more famous discontinued flavors of Pepsi out there due to its short comeback in the 2010s, Crystal Pepsi made waves in North America between 1992 and 94. Originally sold in Europe in the 1990s, Crystal Pepsi boasted a caffeine-free marketing plan. But it says caffeine-free. Cause you don't pay extra for the caffeine, it's free! Within its first year in the U.S., Crystal Pepsi ranked in one whole percent of American soft drink sales, totaling around a whopping $474 million. Seeing the success of the drink, Coca-Cola quickly manufactured a copycat drink called Tab Clear, which was designed specifically to create an unpopular drink, taking the spotlight away from Crystal Pepsi and making clear soda seem like a dime a dozen. That's worse than dishonest. That's by 1993, Pepsi had pulled the drink out of production and succumbed to the kamikaze effect created by Tab Clear. In March of 2015, however, petitions to bring back the flavor rocked the internet, and Crystal Pepsi was returned to shelves by the summer of 2016 to the pleasure of the public. Since then, the soda has been released again a handful of times, but has never seen the same level of success as when it was first released. Pepsi Twist. Boom. 
Twist. Pepsi Twist made its way to the U.S. in the summer of 2000 and lasted on shelves until it was discontinued in 2006. As one of Pepsi's first citrus-flavored drinks, Pepsi Twist had a distinct lemon taste, which the company hoped would fly out of stores like crazy during the summer months. We're gonna be rich! The soda's formula underwent many variations as it was marketed outside of North America. For example, becoming a lime-flavored drink in Brazil. In 2003, Pepsi Twist was marketed during the Super Bowl, with a commercial starring Ozzy, Jack, and Kelly Osbourne, with Florence Henderson and Donnie and Marie Osmond. Longtime Pepsi collaborator Britney Spears also famously endorsed the flavor, appearing in a comedic ad with Austin Powers. Powers by name. Powers by reputation. For unknown reasons, the drink was taken off the market and is no longer among the Pepsi flavors listed on their website. However, the flavor is still available in many other countries outside the U.S. Just before the halt in production, a toy by the name of Pepsi Optimus Prime was created by a Japanese company under the name of Pepsi Convoy. The toy came packaged in a Pepsi Twist box and mimicked the classic Pepsi branding colors. Caffeine-free Pepsi. No more caffeine for you. First introduced in 1982 under the name Pepsi Free, the drink gave the soda market quite a shock as it was the first caffeine-free beverage created and marketed by a major brand. What are you doing? You shouldn't be drinking caffeine. Upon release, the can's color mimicked Coca-Cola's standard red. But caffeine-free Pepsi later changed their background color to gold to lessen confusion between the two. The soda also seems to have one of the longest track records for movie appearances, making two separate cameos in the 1983 flick Mr. Mom, as well as appearances in the 1986 film Cobra with Sylvester Stallone and the blockbuster classic Back to the Future. Caffeine-free Pepsi has done as well in stores since its release and continues to be a featured item on the Pepsi website. Besides, if these film appearances are anything to go by, it's safe to say that caffeine-free Pepsi is the way to go. Pepsi Vanilla. Like vanilla? Oh, come on. Vanilla is a girl's flavor. No. Commonly known as a staple in the history of the company, Pepsi Vanilla was first bottled in North America the summer of 2003. The Vanilla Cola drink was an attempt to take away some of the sales being made by rebel company Coca-Cola with their Vanilla Coke flavor. Oh yeah, look at this, Vanilla Coke. Around 2008, the soda was mysteriously discontinued, but replaced on shelves as a permanent flavor a while later. According to consumers, Pepsi Vanilla is simply a slight variant of the original Pepsi flavor and offers an extra kick of vanilla sweetness in every sip. Coupling the North America release, Pepsi Vanilla was also widely marketed in the Philippines for a limited time, along with the infamous Pepsi Lime. Unfortunately, the flavor didn't last long there, and was removed in 2018. Sporting the usual brown color of Pepsi, the design of Pepsi Vanilla can be distinguished by a picture of a vanilla flower and beans on the bottle's label, right beside the standard red, blue, and white globe. Pepsi Wild Cherry. Oh, and let me get a cherry coke. This version of Pepsi first came onto the scene in 1988. A versatile soda, it comes in diet and vanilla cherry forms, respectively, and even branched out into the cosmetics market as a cherry lip balm, which remains on shelves today. Is that glitter on your lips? Mmm cherry flavored. Want a taste? Still widely available in Canada and the US, Pepsi Wild Cherry has also found a home in the Netherlands and the Czech Republic. Before 2005, the soda was known by a slightly different name, Wild Cherry Pepsi, but was later rebranded with a slight change in formula. In 2007, the classic blue, red, and white logo was also under reconstruction, which caused a second rebranding issue with the cherry flavor soda as the name of the brand needed to be moved up on the bottle to accommodate the new globe design. Pepsi Wild Cherry is still available for purchase and has received plenty of rave reviews on Pepsi's website. Described as having a sweet, crisp taste,
least, the drink is still going strong and is a standout in the soft drink world. Pepsi Lime. You leave my lime alone. This soda flavor was first introduced in 2005 as a diet soda and spawned heavy competitor drinks like Lime Coke from the Coca-Cola company. In 2007, it was discontinued for a short time due to a lack of advertisement, but it was shortly reintroduced in the summer of 2019 as a specialty drink, alongside mango and berry flavors. I developed a new formula which allowed me to get every known kind of berry into one flavor of jelly. Similar to the Pepsi Twist flavor, this soda offers a kick of lime with every sip. The lime, mango, and berry flavors were also the first time Pepsi added real fruit juice to their drinks. The packaging for Pepsi Lime was modeled after the standard Pepsi can and includes the trademark globe and the brand's name in lowercase, adding a little image of a sliced lime in the bottom right-hand corner to distinguish the can from regular Pepsi. Today, Pepsi Lime Lime is still considered one of the company's true successes. Diet Pepsi. Why is there a dusty gas station and a Diet Pepsi machine in your office? While Pepsi has come out with some outlandish flavors over its many years of operation, one of its greatest successes comes from the slight variant of their original drink, Diet Pepsi. First marketed in 1963, Diet Pepsi includes zero sugar and was one of the first Diet Colas to be distributed nationwide in the U.S. I prefer sugar-free artificial sweeteners made by man! Since then, it has become a global phenomenon as it was was later released in the UK, greatly expanding the drink's market reach and becoming almost as much of a household name as the original Pepsi. First marketed as a patio drink, the soda reached great levels of success with the generation of increasingly health-conscious baby boomers and overall shift in North American dietary habits. Diet Pepsi represented 5.3% of all American soft drink sales as of 2010, ranking as the number seven soft drink brand by volume. Diet Pepsi continues to prove its versatility as a marketing brand and is still being adapted to make diet versions of many other Pepsi flavors. It was also the first product to have a freshness date, which was later adapted by many other soft drink companies and became a widespread practice within the industry. Diet Pepsi has made a name for itself in the industry and has earned its rightful spot at the top of this list. Pepsi. All I want is a Pepsi. Taking the number one spot on the list will be a shocker to no one. The original Pepsi is indeed the best Pepsi flavor still to this day. Originally launched way back in the late 1800s as Brad's Drink, it was renamed to Pepsi Cola right before the turn of the 20th century and then shortened to just Pepsi in the early 1960s. It's said that Pepsi gained their popularity during the Great Depression due to simply offering larger bottles at the same price as the smaller bottles the competition was offering. Huh. Yeah, way more bang for your buck. Now, however, Pepsi is a giant, second only to Coca-Cola in the soda game. Their commercials and brand deals with celebrities have been a large part of their image. Iconic commercials featuring the likes of Britney Spears, of course, dancing, or working night shift when an in-store ad of Shakira turns into the real Shakira. Maybe you're more into Beyonce strutting her stuff at a gas station to get a Pepsi. How about the classic version of that commercial, which features Cindy Crawford also strutting her stuff at a gas station to get her hands on a Pepsi? No, not all the ads featured just attractive women. A favorite is the classic Pepsi commercial where a Coca-Cola worker tries to sneak a Pepsi with unfortunate results. Take that, Coca-Cola. Go easy on the Pepsi. <laughs> Stick around and tap that screen for more of our great videos. Here for the first time? Then hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.